Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel and today I will be doing a recap on Sisters Season 2 Episode 20, Catch Fade. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video likes by hitting the thumbs up and follow me on my Instagram at Sip and Review. Check out my about page for the links to my social media platforms. Let's jump right into it. So we picked up where we left off in the parking garage when Gary's wife and her girls came to jump Andy. Andy told Miss Waters, and I quote, that she didn't want this. Andy told her that there are cameras all over the garage and she suggests that she leaves. Why she waved at the cameras? A hot mess. So she don't give two Fs about no camera. Andy tried to walk away and Jasmine shoved her. Andy told Jasmine that if she puts her hands on her again, her ass is going to jail. Way to go, Jasmine. Thanks for incriminating yourself. Jasmine's not being smart right now. Shaking my head. Andy, they do not care about going to jail. Jasmine is paying them to beat you up. Jasmine slapped Andy in the face and the other two girls jumped Andy. Andy was trying to fight back and they were tagging her. Fatima pulled up to save the day with her gun. Fatima told Jasmine that she would unload on her. Jasmine told her to do it because she don't have nothing to lose. When Fatima said that the police was on the way, the other girls took off running. LOL. So much for having her back, huh? Aiden tried it. Now, he was in a parking garage recording the whole fight. He tries to threaten Fatima, and Fatima threatened him right back. We all know how that goes with them. Aiden is my least favorite character on this show. You know, he's very annoying to me. I'm just saying. Moving on. Jacoby made Maurice a cup of coffee. Maurice said, child, I ain't taking no coffee from you. You might be trying to poison me. Jacoby wants to know, what's up with Calvin and Sabrina? Well, shut the front door. It wasn't Calvin in the room with sexy chocolate last week. He was in the room with another man. Apparently, Maurice's old friend had the key to Maurice's apartment and he was with his boyfriend in Calvin's room. So Calvin wasn't even at home. He was actually on a date with the young lady like he said he was. I feel so bad for Calvin right now. Moving on. Andy made it back to her apartment and she called Gary on the phone. She told him to come to her apartment instead of going to her office because you know on the last episode he was supposed to be meeting her to drop the ring off to Fatima so that she could get the engagement ring off of her finger. The police knocked on Andy's door. Because she's pressing charges against Jasmine and her crew. He said his name was Officer Avery Harper. And he said that I've seen you before at the Folsom County Courthouse. And that he always noticed her. Yes, indeed. So he likes Andy. Okay, then. He needs to fall back. Because Gary is not sharing her. Moving on. Maurice made it home. He came home to apologize to Calvin. Calvin told Maurice that he better tell Sabrina that it wasn't him in the room with that guy. Maurice told Calvin to burn his matches because of what was going on in there last night. Shaking my head. Maurice made it back to work. He told Sabrina the truth. Bootsy is the name of the guy that was actually having sex in Calvin's room in he likes to use Maurice's house whenever he wants to cheat on his boyfriend. And because he knows where Maurice keeps his key at, he just let himself in the room and he had, I'm sorry, in his house. And he had no idea that Maurice even had a roommate. So he thought that he could use that room. And Sabrina, she was pissed off after he told her the story. She didn't say nothing. She just walked off. So that's how I know she was really upset with Maurice. Moving on. 
Zach asked Danny to tell Karen that he didn't steal her money. Danny told her that it wasn't you, and I already know that it wasn't you. I already told her that. Sabrina came to visit Danny to tell her what happened with Maurice Lionel Calvin. That's when Danny told Sabrina that she was tired of the BS because Sabrina doesn't really want to be with Calvin anyway. Thank you, Danny. They are doing that often with one another. One minute she gets mad with him and say that she don't want him. You've already told everyone that you don't like the man because of the type of underwear he wear. And you are not turned on by him. Y'all tried having sex on multiple occasions. And you just was turned off. So just stay with Jacoby, girl. Because he is the type of man that you like. Them roughnecks, okay? Meanwhile, they are on the way to meet up so they can all talk to Danny okay so the girls are having their night like you know how they do they get together and they discuss what's going on and Karen she was at her shop and she was on her way out the door when Aaron came to her job with a bouquet of red roses how romantic where can I find an Aaron at Aaron message massage i'm sorry massaged karen's feet because she said that she needed to take a load off uh oh zach know he does have some really bad timing he arrived at karen's job while zach was in there giving her a foot massage in her office zach told karen that he would never do that to her and that she dogged him out and she used to treat him like shit and he's not lying. She did treat him like shit after he cheated on her. Zach told Karen that he loved her with all of his heart. He said that he watched her build her salon from the ground up. Zach had tears in his eyes, y'all, the entire time, okay? Zach almost made me cry, too. Zach told Sabrina that he's going to work hard to better himself so that he could come back he give Karen back every dime that she gave to him so that he doesn't feel like shit anymore. Karen couldn't even look Zach in the eyes to tell him that he stole money from her because I feel like she knew deep down the side that he really didn't do it. And, you know, I think she just really wanted to hurt him. However, she did say that she was going off of the signature. So Zach told Karen that he has always loved her more than anything. Zach and Karen started kissing and Dan was right. She said that they were kissing makeup and they had jungle sex. Danny said that as well. All of the girls know that there is nothing but back and forth with Karen and Zach. They do that shit all of the time. So, what about Fatima? What about Aaron? Oh my God. Because you know, they both have someone that really cares a lot about them. They're dating new people, but them two decides they want to have sex. And I bet Zach take his ass back to Fatima smelling like Karen. Fatima will shoot you, Zach. You know she don't play no games. Moving on. Gary arrived at Andy's place. Andy wasn't joking when she said that about the ring. The ring on Andy's finger is a bondage because she can't take it all without his matching ring. It's about time. Andy told Gary that his wife Jasmine and two other females jumped her at her job. And it was Jill and Macy. That is the names of the ladies because she was questioning Gary and he told her that they are Jasmine's friends. And... Gary, he wants to go handle it, and Andy told him not to because Jasmine will have him blocked up. And you know she's a compulsive liar too. That's what she does. She finds a way to manipulate the situation so that she can have either him locked up or Andy. So after going through all that to get the ring off of her finger, she decided to put the ring back on her finger. Yes, indeed, girl, make up your mind if you want the man or not. No, ma'am. So we get back to Aaron, okay? He 
came back to the shop because he said that he left his cell phone. And guess what? She is about to lose a good man, okay? That's a damn shame. You could hear Karen and Zach having sex. They were so loud. And the receptionist was at the door listening. And why the receptionist didn't have the door locked, girl? It is nighttime anyway. Aaron was able to walk right in, okay? And he heard the noise. He said, what is going on? He slung that door open and there was Zach and Karen having sex. Shaking my head. Hi, mess y'all. I cannot wait to the next episode. I will be back to discuss what happens. And thank you all for listening. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. You all have a blessed day. Bye now.